Hello everyone and thank you for watching my video. As always, please like and subscribe and add some comments of what you liked or what else you would like me to cover. Today I am going to cover the RAX feature module in PHP IPAM. This video builds on my previous videos about circuits, devices, and location. Let's begin. First, we need to make sure that the RACS feature is enabled in our PHP IPAM. As you can see, it's on. If it was off, you would want to turn it on, scroll down, and hit save. Since it's on, uh, we can actually click over here on the RACS. So, as you can see in here on my rack list, I already have one set up with some devices but I want to build one blank for you first, or actually two. So let's go to Rack Scheme, Add Rack. Now I'm going to give my rack a name, and in this case it's going to be uh, Office 3 Rack 1. It's going to be 42U high. Uh, backside is kind of think of the difference between a two and four post rack. So by hitting, by leaving this as no, there cannot be a backside, so it would be a two post rack. If I click yes, it's a four post. Orientation is for the, uh, how the U's go. So it can be one to 42 or 42 to one. So I'm gonna go top down. I'm gonna select the office. Now this, name translates to the location at the top here and then the customer will be me and then there can be some description that you add to that so i'm going to hit add and you're going to see down here it's going to create an office three now i want to create one more rack before i go in and click that and i'm going to call this uh Office 3, Rack 2. So we're just going to do the same thing there. It's going to be 42U. There's going to be no backside. It's going to be top down. We're going to put it in Office 3, which determines this over here, and then my company. And I'm going to hit Add. So now I'm going to click in Office 3, and you see three racks. Well, no, it's really the front of Rack 1 and the front back of rack one and just the front of rack two. So you have really just two racks, but this gives you the visual of the three so perspectives. So what does that look like with stuff in it? So in the HQ, I have the front and rear of the HQ rack and I have three devices. I have the HQ router a vendor router and another vendor router. So how do we do that? Or how does that actually work? Um, if we go back to the rack list, you'll now see this orientation. And I, by just clicking here, it takes me to the rack list. As you can see, there's three devices, my customer information. And if I had typed anything in the description, it would be there. If I click Rack 1, you'll see that Rack 1, since it's in Location Office 3, right, you're seeing the location and the rack. So let's add a device. Now, I have some devices already in here that are actually built out in IPAM. And I'm going to put them, or select it, and I'm going to put it at start position 10 which is over here and I'm going to say it's 2U and I'm going to hit add. Next I'm going to add the router from Office 3 and I'm going to say that's 2 oops, starting position. As you can see it's I can't select that and also notice it says front because this is a, a, a four post rack. So I'm going to put it at 12. And I'm going to say the device height is 2. Next, right, I'm going to add a custom piece of equipment. I'm going to call that 
a UPS. Now I'm going to put it at start position rear. Oops. Or back, right? At position 35. I'm going to say that's 7U. I'm going to hit add. So now you can see I have some items on the front of the rack and I have this big UPS on the back at the bottom of the rack, but it's one rack. Now, if I go back to racks, you'll see I have three devices and I have a backside and this one has none. It's also where is it located. Um, so if I go to office three rack two, um, why don't we add a, a custom device here? We'll call it temperature sensor. And it's 1U and it's at position 2, right? And you see that as there and it's in this office. And so with this in mind, right, if we go to locations and I look at office 3, right, now I have the the name of the office, its location, its coordinates. I also now see I have a rack one and a rack two. And I see I have some devices there. I have some subnets and I have some uh, actual IP addresses for those specific devices. If I go to the rack, I get the rack view, right? And from here, I can see where I'm located. I can see what's at each position. If I go to um, up here, right, I can actually also show the pop-up for the rack. Right? So you, you can see, see how this is very beneficial. I can also go to my subnets, and I can go to my company, and I can look at Office 3, right? And I see, go to my uh, firewall VLAN, because I have this firewall, and I can go to this device, and it'll take me back to here. So it's a very clean, efficient way to look at how devices in a particular area, and it can show you um, how your racks are laid out, and where your location of your racks are and you can use that very beneficially for your company well i hope that helped or at least explained how racks work um, in php ipam i want to thank you for watching my video on php ipam racks and as always please like and subscribe add some comments of what you liked or what else you would like me to cover Thank you. Have a great day.